It's the battle of two Miami neighborhoods, Edgewater versus Brickell. Who's gonna win? Hey everyone, Seth here from Black Book Properties and KindOfBlackBook.com with another video giving you tips and tricks to navigate Miami real estate like an insider. Today we're gonna to talk about two of Miami's most popular neighborhoods, Brickell and my favorite neighborhood and home, Edgewater. We've got a head-to-head -head showdown to figure out which neighborhood is best for you. But before we get started, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel right here on this page so you can see our latest videos and content on all things Miami, from can't miss events on the beach to the best Miami restaurants and of course, all things real estate. In this segment, we put two locations to the test to help you decide which neighborhood is right for you. We'll be comparing lifestyles, walkability, transportation, architecture, and cost so you can make an informed decision if you're considering these two areas. Let's get started. The first thing to discuss in this battle is lifestyle. So let's start with the Brickell lifestyle. Brickell is Miami's financial district. It's known as the Manhattan of the South. So it's a dense and bustling area. Think Brooklyn, Lower Manhattan, very metropolitan. It's ideal for ride or die urban types, workaholics, and those who want to live and work in the same neighborhood. Brickell has great restaurants, glittering nightlife, unbelievable shopping, and it's also home to a lot of celebrities and musicians, as well as international executives and young professional families. In terms of shopping, the luxurious Brickell City Center is anchored by a Saks Fifth Avenue and has dozens of top European and US brands. If you love the city living feel, Brickell could definitely be the spot for you. What about Edgewater? Edgewater is one of Miami's most well-kept secrets. It's where I've lived for more than 15 years and I love it. It's a quiet residential neighborhood on the shores of Biscayne Bay that's super close to everything. It's just north of downtown Miami and it's about 10 to 20 minute drive to Brickell depending on traffic. I find that Edgewater is ideal for families, young professionals, and we also get a lot of first time property buyers and second home buyers. It's perfect for those who want to be close to everything but be able to come home to a place that's away from it all and relaxing. It's got great parks and it's walkable to Miami's art and cultural hotspots like the Adrian R. Center for Performing Arts, the Frost Science Museum, Perez Art Museum, FTX Arena, Wynwood Art District, and more. So, you want a laid back and more nature oriented lifestyle, but still want easy access to many other Miami hotspots, Edgewater can't be beat. In this category, Brickell and Edgewater have a lot going for them. True to its Manhattan style nature, you don't need a car to navigate Brickell. The free Metro Mover can take you all around Brickell where it has multiple stops, plus get you onto the downtown loop as well. The Metro Rail can take you to Wynwood, Coconut Grove, and even the airport. Brickell definitely wins the walkability battle against Edgewater, but Edgewater is by no means a car dependent neighborhood. However, getting in and out of Brickell is a little bit of a challenge because of traffic. Let's compare parks and green space. For this category, Edgewater edges out Brickell for sure. Access to green space is Edgewater's claim to fame, and that's simply because the heart and soul of Edgewater is the eight acre Margaret Pace Park. This incredible park sits right on the water's edge on Biscayne Bay. So not only do you get a park in the middle of your neighborhood, but you also get waterfront access for sports such as kayaking or paddleboarding. Margaret Pace Park has a great vibe. It provides an array of outdoor activities for everyone. You've got children's playgrounds, basketball courts, beach volleyball courts, tennis courts, gated dog park, soccer fields, the whole gamut. It's also lined with several great cafes and restaurants. Edgewater is also about to get a completed five mile bay walk that will eventually take you all the way to the Miami River and Bayside Park. All this green space in Edgewater is not to say that Brickell doesn't have great parks. It does, but they aren't as big as Market Place Park or as central. In Brickell, you have more neighborhood parks spread out to offer a break from the density of this financial district. Brickell's green spaces include Brickell Key Park, Miami Circle Park, as well as the waterfront jogging path around Brickell Key. 
And the area of South Brickell provides a tree-lined street where you can have a nice jog with nature and water views and that make you forget momentarily that you're in the middle of one of the country's busiest urban hubs. Okay, now let's go over how each neighborhood is laid out and the living options you get. Brickell is a larger neighborhood that is divided into a few sections. You have South Brickell, the Central Financial District, and Brickell Key. Be sure to check out our video, by the way, on those few areas as well. South Brickell is mainly residential and has lots of older, established, low and mid-rise buildings and a few streets of old Miami mansions. This area also has some new luxury waterfront high-rises and is getting a few more with the planned St. Regis residences and also Una residences. The financial district is where all the newest luxury skyscrapers are, business and residential, which include condos, hotels, mixed-use residential and office projects. The buildings usually are very modern, luxurious, and have the latest and greatest resort-like amenities with spas, restaurants, fitness centers, entertainment rooms, and more. Brickell Key is a more private enclave on the east side that's adjacent to the core of the financial district. It's a small, gated island with residential waterfront condo residences lining it. Now, it's Edgewater's turn. As I've said, I've called Edgewater home for more than 15 years. I know exactly what it's like to live here and I've watched it transform over the years. Chic, new luxury and ultra luxury waterfront condos now offer unobstructed water and city views and there are a lot more buildings just like that planned for the neighborhood. Okay, so both of these neighborhoods offer incredible condo options to call home. But how much do they cost? Is one more affordable than the other? Well, to keep it simple, because Brickell is more dense, more walkable and more established, it has a higher price point. Edgewater can be slightly more affordable, especially if you're looking for newer, direct waterfront condo options. So, which of these two neighborhoods is the winner? Well, that's up to you and what you're looking for out of your neighborhood, condo, and lifestyle. Both Edgewater and Brickell have so much to offer for those looking to buy here in Miami. However, if walkability reigns supreme, Brickell wins for sure. And if you want better green space or better value for luxury waterfront options, then Edgewater is definitely the clear winner. If you want more detail about which neighborhood is right for you, the schools in the area, or more shopping and entertainment info, give us, Black Book Properties, a call or send us an email. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Keep watching for more Miami neighborhood insights and comparisons. And as always, like, subscribe, and share so you can learn how to navigate Miami real estate like an insider. Have a great day. Who's gonna win? <laughs> you didn't like that one? <laughs> okay.